Dear viewers, my name is Albert J. Weston Kapala from Tanzania. Uh, you are most welcome to the series of my video. Today I'm going to introduce to you how to create the data dictionary. I'm going to create uh, the data dictionary. Uh, I'm going to use um, a give set of uh, questions in my questionnaire I introduced in the previous video. Uh, as you can see that uh, these are just the content of my questionnaire. I have household ID. I have age, sex, marital status, and the uh, housing type of housing and type of roof. Uh, those are a set of questions that is contained in my questionnaire. I have two topics: all persons and the household information. So I just get get back to my data entry application. This is my data entry application. Um, uh, you can see this one is just like a tree like a structure uh, and uh, if you just hit the negative sign the tree tend to contract and it expand when you just hit the positive sign now by default uh, sales pro have already created the uh, my dict identification so you have to customize you have, you have to customize uh, depending to our our questionnaire that we have household ID with the four character. Then you have to say right click, modify item. Then you have to say this is uh, household ID with the four characters because the number of boxes there, they are just four, then we have to put four there. And also we have the my dict record this is the first record the first record in my tool is all persons so modify record or all, all persons now for the case of all persons sometimes you will find that they also do with no uh, no household members and the maximum number here this one is the household size the number of um, household members in, in a given house in the given household let's say this um, the maximum number of um, household members is six and then the second record is um, household information household information you can see here then in, so right click add record then household information so uh, Dear viewers, that is the way how you can create the, the record. I had two records, then I have already created the two records. Then the next stage, the next step is going to uh, be on how to create uh, these um, questions. I'm going to include the information on age, sex, marital status, together with the type of housing and the type of roof. So. Uh, right click the whole person and add the item this one is age our age is going to be up to 99 so the length is going to be of two characters and then we have sex over there sexy um, marital status marital status marital status and uh, for the case of household information, we say that we we have uh, we are having type of housing and also type of roof. Type of roof. Now we've already included those. Uh, um, those uh, uh, questions in our um, data dictionary age, sex, marital status, type of housing, type of roof. If you just uh, click the positive sign, as I told you earlier, that uh, the tree tended to, to expand. So I'm going to enter information on these um, values, uh, items, age, sex, marital status, type of housing, and type of roof. Uh, therefore, uh, if I just go right to age, uh, sometimes you, if you wish you may enter the, the age groups. If you want to classify a given group, maybe 10, 14, 15, 20, 19, 20, etc. But uh, uh, I'm not, uh, right at this moment I'm not going to do that one. 
uh, I'm not on that one. They, therefore, I'm just going direct to, to, to sex, marital status, and the other uh, items. Now, for the case of sexy, you just right click and then add a value set. You have to press enter uh, two, sec two times. Then you just write male uh, one and a female, female two. Then by the status, you have to press first time, second time. Marriage, this one, not marriage, two. In the type of housing, you have to right click type of housing, then you have to add, we had a single family single family oh i have to edit that one i have to edit right click modify value yes add value single multi multi family family and the uh, others homeless so for type of roof type of roof food metal and the uh, other right click add the set wood metal and the other so now we have already created the data dictionary you can see here uh, we have uh, all kind of information we had in our questionnaire this is a very very simple questionnaire uh, next time we shall show you how to create data, data interpretation and data dictionary when you have um, the questionnaire with uh, so many uh, questions then uh, we have um, the household information and we have all personal information and uh, if you just click the, these um, set of items and then you will see that the information contains in each um, item is displayed marital status you, you can see here type of housing you can see uh, this one then if you you just want to you don't need you are just you, you just deal with uh, maybe the first record and then you just you want to hide this one then you have to push the negative sign if you want to hide also the all personal information again you have to, to push the, the negative one if you want to add the information on id may push the, the negative one and if push the, the positive sign the tree tend to, uh, to expand so uh, you're most welcome in the series of my video then uh, this is the end of uh, this video on how to create the data entry data data dictionary the next video is going to be on how to uh, create uh, the data entry forms we are going to use this button so you're most welcome